First of all, could you introduce yourself? Okay, my name is Fortunato Favasoli. I'm one of the two owners in this uh, for this premises, for this restaurant. Yeah. These two of us, we are we are best friends, like brother now. So we've been living in the UK in Cardiff for the last 13 years. Right. Uh, after working for an Italian restaurant in Cardiff, we decided to open our own restaurant. Right, and what's your partner's name? Ernesto Rapoccia. And what, what are you, what's your family? Do you have family? Yeah. We haven't got family here, we're just uh, all friends around, but the, the, re the restaurant itself as a staff-wise is more like family-oriented. Even if we're just friends, we've been working together for the last two years. Uh, it's running like a family restaurant because it's my business partner, girlfriends, his sister-in-law, my partner, my sister, my brother-in-law. So even with the chef, we've known him since five years. So with the rest of the staff, it's just like family member now because we spend more time with them than with anybody else. So. <laughs> That's lovely. Um, what hobbies do you have? Hobby. Apart from this restaurant, we just like on our days off, just spending time with the family, having a drink or going out, going on holiday when we can. So, um, where are you from originally? We're from the south of uh, Italy, uh, just a further place down in, Cal uh, in Italy, which is opposite size Italy. It's called Calabria. Yeah, oh, I've heard of Calabria. Yeah. yeah. And how was it there? What's the countryside well, like? Or is it the seaside? Or is it well, it's a seaside. It's a mountain side as well. It's both of them in the same uh, in the same town because 45 minutes away you can be in the mountain or you can go down to the seaside. Wow, that's so, nice. um, why did you want to come to the UK? Why not? Well, 13 years ago, the, uh, for us the main thing was to learn English. But when we moved to this country with with the job we were doing, we realized as a lifestyle this. UK was it was a better option for us to stay and improve ourselves and yeah. make some future for us. Excellent. You speak very good English, by the way. Excellent. We try to learn every day more, a little bit more. <laughs> um, so, who opened this place? It was me and my business partner, me and Ernesto. We decided to do something for ourselves. So, from then we started the research, and this place come up on the market. I never been to Cafe Lille until the day we decided to come and have a look at this place. So, on the beginning, it was a little bit risky because we didn't know Cafe Lille at all. We knew it was the castle, we knew it wasn't on many other Italian restaurants around. But when you're working so hard for the last 10 years, so you've seen all your investment plus your saving plus more, they were invested to this place. We didn't know the future award is going to bring us, but until now, we look back now, we're very pleased for the results. Oh, excellent. Um, when did you open? How long has it been? We opened in um, July 2017, the 17th of July 2017. So it'll be a second year then? Second year is coming up now, yeah. Um, what are you offering? What sort of food do you offer? What? For, with our food is mainly Actually, all of our food is Italian food. We add some like uh, lamb shank, or we go steak, we go a few dishes like from the grill, but most of our pasta is all Italian. Right. All our recipe today, they cooked as Italian way. Right. We didn't change Italian British way, but we keep to our line because now people, they start to travel more, so they know what is all about about Italian food, where a long time ago you had to put like a simple thing, cream everywhere for, to make the food taste better, yeah. where now you need to stick with your own recipe because people they will appreciate more yeah. the recipe than change it for them. Yeah. Is it sort of general Italian cookery or do you base it on the area that you came from? Is it yeah, most of, some of our um, dishes they go ingredient from our country which is the spice induya which is a spice Italian sausage which when is in contact with dot food it become melts and it's become like uh, more stronger than the chili oil. Wow. So we got a few dishes with the with the spicy sausage. What's the sausage called sir? Induya. 
Oh no, they do a similar one in the States. They go andouille. I think that's a spice sausage. Yeah, I don't know if it's spelled the same, but um, that's quite nice as well. Um, what do you think is your mission? What are you aiming for? Our mission, to be honest, uh, I don't know if it's a mission. For us, because we've been studying for this job even back in Italy, uh, when you study and you work for other restaurant, other hotel, your uh, ambition is one day when you open something for yourself, you want to run it your way and no other way. Because when you work for somebody else, it's all the time something which you want to do, but you can't do. Yeah. And because with Ernesto, it's like, uh, like I said, it's like my brother. We, we, we don't say you can do that or you need to do that because he's been working together for the, for the last five years. We know he's good on something, I'm good on something else. So we concentrate ourselves to look after the customer, he's doing some, the pay, he's better on the paperwork, I'm better on something else, so it's just improving ourselves day by day and we enjoy it doing it. That's the main thing, yeah, so, enjoying it, yeah, I love that. And why should customers visit your place as opposed to other Well, the mainly for the food, because we know we serve freshly food cooked every day. So the chef, when they come in the kitchen at 10 o'clock in the morning, all the preparation is done day by day. And secondly, because it's not just because it's our place, but the ambience and the friendliness to even with the staff is nothing compared to other restaurants you go. Because we've been through, as a waiter, working for other people, and we know what it's like when you are part of staff. Mm -hmm. and I, Myself, I had that opinion one day, if something is going to be mine, the staff need to be treated right the way they're supposed to be treated. Yeah. We finish one, uh, 12 o'clock in the night, we all sit down together, having a glass of wine, having a glass of beer, we eating in the same table, it's not we are the owner, you eat in a separate table, we just, like I said, like a family, family member. I mean, we are the first one as a boss, if we need to come up in the morning and clean and we're going to do the cleaning. Yeah. It's not something you need to do that, you need to do that. We are a teamwork, everyone, we help each other. It's not like you are my staff, you need to clean that, I'm not doing it. Yeah. It's just a teamwork. You do something, I do something else. Oh, that's great. So, I've got a question here, what are your unique selling points? It's more or less the same as the last question. What makes you different from other restaurants? So it's, it's family oriented, you're friendly, uh, you work well with the staff, staff are part of the family. Um, what about the food itself? Why, why should people um, come for this Italian food, say an Italian food in another town? For me it's just because, like I said, everything is cooked fresh yeah. and everything it's no pre in they everything the chef they do in that kitchen is done from scratch, from the tomato sauce, from the simple roast potato they go into the oven, from the homemade chips, which they clean the chips, they cut the chips, it's homemade chips. Everything cooked in this restaurant is brought in as a veg man, yeah. from scratch they doing everything. Excellent. What about the pasta? Do you make your pasta? We make some of the pasta, like the, the ravioli pasta, we make it ourselves. But if you're thinking about spaghetti and penne, we haven't got the space enough to do that kind of preparation food. So, what sort of fillings do you put in your ravioli? Well, we got two types. One is filled with sea bass and the other one is filled with smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and lastly, what are your plans for the near future? And, uh, future a few years hence. Where do you see yourself? Uh, well, this one is a little bit hard question. I mean, like I said, at the moment, it's been two years we've been open and we are enjoying it so much doing it. In a few years' time, everybody they asking you going to open another one. At the moment in time, I would say no, because we don't want to expand, we don't want to get bigger, because that's why me and Ernesto, we we are going, we're going good to, together because yeah. our ambition is not get greedy, open another one and try to be a millionaire. With yeah. this kind of job, you're never going to become a millionaire. You're going to earn your living, enjoying what you're doing, get up in the morning and be happy to come to work. That's what we want. 
And I suppose if we get too big and expand, the family orientation... But that's what we don't want to as well. If we did this to open this restaurant, is because we like to work together. Yeah. Open another one is, means one of us needs to split to go in another restaurant. Uh, yeah. So we, you're going to split something which is going good, something is doing fine, to have something which you don't know. We like the size of the restaurant. We prefer to stay this size. In the near future, you never know. I mean, no another restaurant, probably. Excellent. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Yeah.